Today I'm going to show you guys three methods to fix the freezing, stuttering and lag issue on Modern Warfare 2. I had this issue really bad when the game just came out and thankfully I found a fix for me and something that I've seen work for a lot of other people as well so hopefully it'll work for you guys as well. We'll jump straight into this and the first one that I know of which is one that you guys might know of but just in case you don't, you're going to want to go ahead and go into settings, go into graphics and then under quality you're going to want to go down and find on demand texture streaming. This is a big one because this really, really taxes your um, bandwidth. It is constantly downloading textures, so it's causing lagging and starting and all this other stuff. So all you want to do is go ahead and turn that off. That should fix your issue, but just in case it doesn't, there's two more things you can try that should help. One of those things is something you might not think of, but it might actually really help your FOV. If your FOV is turned up all the way to the max or even turned up to maybe like 100, you might want to turn it down to around 90, 95. Because for some reason on Modern Warfare 2 there's a weird thing going on where if your FOV is too wide it's causing lag and stuttering in that aspect as well. Which hopefully they'll fix going forward. But anyways if those two things don't work for you this is the last thing I can recommend for you to try. And this is why we're going to go into the background of stuff and actually change um, some values. So we're going to quit out of the game for this one. So once you have the game closed you're going to want to go ahead into your file explorer and open documents. And then go down to your Call of Duty folder and then click on players. And you want to open this one here that says options.free.cod22.cst. So we're going to go ahead and double click that and then you want to make sure you open it in notepad. And you're going to scroll down to the very bottom where you should see this thread count for handling the job queue, render work account, and this is the number that we're going to be changing. So to find out what number you need to put in here, it is very simple. Go ahead and open up your task manager, go into performance, click on CPU, and then you want to take this number and copy it into Google. So we're going to go ahead and type that number in, um, and then you want to go ahead onto the Intel website. Let's close this now. And you want to find this here. So total cause, you should see a number next to it. For me, it's six. And that is what we want to input into here. So we're going to change R1 to six. And then quite simply, we're just going to go ahead and click save. So pretty much what this is, is it tells the game how many threads it can use. So depending on what your number is, if it's lower or higher, it will either underperform or overperform, both causing stuttering, lagging, and um, all these other issues that you might be experiencing on Modern Warfare. So you're going to go ahead and change it to the number of cores that you actually have. So these are the three things I did that fixed the game for me. Hopefully it works for you. There is one more thing that you can potentially try if this doesn't work and that is downgrading your Nvidia drivers. I have seen some things online where people are saying the newest version of the Nvidia driver is causing stuttering. So downgrade it to the one previous to that. But for me, I haven't experienced these issues. My NVIDIA driver is upgraded to the latest one. And once I've done these three things, the game is working and running absolutely fine. I hope you did find this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. Cut up a little content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.